Here's a video I've been looking forward to doing for quite some time. This is Halo Video, Halo AI, Minimax. It has many names. A pretty good video generation tool, AI video generation tool, I should say. So we're going to take a look at what Halo can achieve. They claim three things, and that is uh, dynamic performance. What they mean by that is that uh, the model excels in capturing like intricate face details, emotions, stuff like that. It can produce cinematic quality. So whether you're doing like two animations, real film footage, the model can handle that and you make it well look good with superior quality. And number three is good prompt understanding. So what you put in the model is going to try to do. So let's see if we can achieve that. But uh, so far, the results have been great. So to look at this claim cinematic quality, we're going to take an extra look at that throughout the video and see if they can achieve what they claim. Spoiler, it's pretty good. On the front page here, you have some examples of um, most of this, I think, is text to video, but it can also do image to video. So you have to have an image input you can use that. We can also just prompt from your text. You might be saying, hey, I got runway already. Why do I need this? Well, in some instances, in many instances, the results from Minimax or Halo is actually better. So that is really cool. So we're going to be checking that out today. We're going to be running some prompts, putting some images in. And uh, let's take a look at this cool tool. Now it has been in beta for some time and you can use it, but now it is open for everyone. It has a good user interface. It's a regular site everyone can log into. So just looking at these examples here, you're getting some really good stuff going on. Now, obviously it's going to be the same as any other text to video or image to video tool. You're going to have to run a couple generations to get something good, but I found in general, you're getting very, very good results. So let's take a quick look at some of the videos online that have been produced with Halo. I have replaced the uh, audio here with um, something else because of, of YouTube copyright. Yeah, I'll fix that in post. Let's uh, look at this first one here. Let's get that big for you. So this is AI Imagine's famous art to life. So th these are uh, famous paintings that uh, come to life with the power of AI. And honestly, I think this is uh, pretty cool. Obviously, this is not like 4K or anything. I'm sure it's 720 that they just uploaded to Twitter. So the quality isn't like superb. You can get stuff 720 and then, uh, I mean, upscale it to get uh, better results on your better quality on your videos. But I mean, this is pretty cool. And well, except for the horses uh, here, uh, a lot of the movement, especially this face movement here, I mean, a lot of the movement is fairly realistic. Now there are glitches here and there, obviously, but in general, it looks very alive. Here's a different, where they kind of imagine this as a TV intro. A family of uh, aliens, so. the Galactians. No, 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 no. So they actually did it with the theme so. of uh, Full House. No, so obviously, no, I can play that. No. So never, I'll play ever, something else here ever, instead. Ever, ever, it's kind of funny, to be honest. And then went all in so. with posts and, and ed no, edited no, some names no. and, and all the fake alien so. actors. So these no, are, no, I would assume, no. that they generated never, images. Ever, ever, and then with Halo, they used image to video. Or they could have just been using text so. to video. I don't know. No, 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 no. But I'm assuming it's image Maybe to video. Someday. It's still pretty cool though. You have it and it's, uh, it's fairly consistent way. all over. You can see in some small parts like the text is getting washed out and in the background obviously face and stuff is going to be harder. But overall, like getting that, the, the like, whatchamacallit, the acting, like the, the faces and the realistic movements, that's pretty good. If we're taking a quick look at the subscription page here, you can see that there is a free tier. 
you get bonus credits for daily login up to three tasks in queue and i noticed i think it's like 100 credits a day or something so it's like i think it's 30 credits for a video generation so you're gonna get something at least with the free plan. If you're signing up yearly, you have the standard, which would be $7.99 a month or the unlimited $75.99. If you're doing it monthly, well, you can see, oh, it's actually standard is a little bit cheaper now, $9.99 and unlimited $94.99. So obviously with the unlimited plan, you get unlimited generations. The standard plan gets a thousand credits a month. And, and the big thing with these is you get the fast track generations, right? So there's a queue. There's a lot of people using the free plan and that means just like 2000 in queue. So if you're using the fast track generation, well, you'll get ahead in the queue, obviously, with the other fast track generation people. And you can do up to five tasks in queue, and that's the same for the unlimited and standard. It's basically the same for standard and unlimited, but you get unlimited generations, right? You can also remove the watermarks, which is not possible in the free version. So if you're using this for any type of commercial usage, well, you probably need to use the standard or the unlimited. Once you want to get started, it's fairly simple. You have a prompt here and you can either upload an image or put in a text, right? And it says here 30 credits. So this might change over time. Unless you have this little button here, and when this is enabled, your prompts will be automatically refined into more detailed descriptions to enhance generation quality. You can disable this, and then you will get just your prompt. But if you are, are enabling that, you will have like a prefix or a suffix of a hidden prompt that we don't know about that will, uh, or is, is said to be increasing the quality, right? If you are disabling this, it is recommended to provide more detailed prompts for optimal results, right? So let's just start with something here. We're going to upload an image. I'm just going to drop an image in here. I have, let's take this one first. I have this woman here, which is an AI generated image. I'm just going to drop that in. And we're going to say woman turning her head and smiling in fields of sunflowers. I think we're going to leave it to that. Just a simple prompt and keep it on stable video diffusion is that you have to run like massive amounts of generations, right? And then it's like, okay, you run a 10, 20 generations and you get one good or two good. Here it's like, well, some of them are obviously bad, but a lot of them are surprisingly good and usable. So there's not a lot of um, weird stuff going on in the generations, which I think is very, very cool. Obviously we're gonna see once our finished generations here are well finished. We have three jobs in the queue, Three out of five, so we can have five total jobs in the queue uh, as of this moment. Oh, and while we wait, do you know the difference between a hippo and a zippo? Well, one is very heavy and the other is a little lighter. All right, so let's look at some of the stuff here, right? So in our first one, woman turning her head and smiling in fields of sunflower. Uh, this one looks actually very, very good. Let's zoom in a little bit here. I mean, that is, that is really, really, really good. Like even the little pattern on the bandana here is actually very good. There's a slight jittering kind of about it, but overall, this is very, very good. And this is just our first generation. Let's see, let's go back and find the second one. So here we have our second one. And I would say this is also very good. Uh, the smile is a little, is not as as big, but it actually looks more natural. I would say we're getting a little blinking there on on the eyes, and the sunflowers are kind of waving around or wailing around in in the wind, waving in the wind. So this I do think is a very good generation. Even the hair is on top here. You can see moving slightly from the wind, and just the the little earrings here moving as she moves. Yeah, I, I, I mean, this is great. So let's look at the third one. Can we get three out of three? Yeah, this is good. This is good. There's a slight jittering up with hair as it's blowing around. But man, even the like the second, she's, you can see there's this little dot or a hole in her ear. The second hole that way she doesn't have an earring. It kind of stays consistent too. And there's a little mole here on the shoulder. It looks like like... I mean, this this stuff is great. It looks, it just looks so natural, you know? So we have three out of three. These look, these look great. But the big 
comparison here is like if you compare for example to runway or similar shoes there, there's not a lot of that warping going around where a character just turns into a noodle and then kind of flies out of scene and turns into a rocket ship um, so you know it, it's still kind of keeping it together I'm just gonna upload uh, this image now so we have this uh, I don't know kind of uh, bird creature whatever it is but let's uh, drag that in and let's change the prompt to beautiful cinematic scene as light rays no oh. Uh, with sound and light rays as the bird creature slowly what does it do or she let's look at the picture again opens its eyes and you know turns to the camera maybe you could probably do a lot more intricate prompts but let's leave it like this for now I think this is how most people will prompt it I mean, obviously you can work this into like stories and long, long sentences with very descriptive prompts, but I think this is how most people actually will use it. So we're going to queue this up for, I think, three generations. We got lucky. Well, not lucky. I think we actually, we had some great results with the three women here, the three generations of the woman. So I think with this bird creature being fairly close up, I think we can expect it to look fairly decent. Now we're gonna try some other shots also that are darker. All right, so let's look at our beautiful birds here. So let's start from the beginning here. We have, well, she, it's chattering away, looking towards the camera and then running away. While I wouldn't say there is inherently something wrong with it, it didn't really listen to our prompt. We did have the little checkbox on so it is a little more creative. I mean, it's not a bad scene, perhaps just uh, the, the last part of that. The, the first scene set is, is, well, it's looking fairly good. Let's look at the second one. We've got a second one a little popping up there. We have a little panning there. I think the, the merge or the kind of, it's, yeah, it's not amazing. Well, the, the second bird, or the first bird actually looked good. So here is, well, I don't think I would use this. So, and then I did two more where I kind of disabled the, the refiner there. So in this one, it turns towards the camera and it's open, it, open its eyes. And well, this is more of what we were looking for, right? When we disabled that. I'm not really getting the pan. We're getting a slow kind of little jiggle there. So just to give some life into the scene. And in our last one here, the bird is actually turning away and walking away. And again, not a bad scene. You could use it, but it wasn't really what we were looking for. But at least we don't have birds warping and going out into space. Okay, let's head back into some of the characters. So I'm gonna upload actually this image here. So this is a, a kind of a digital illustration kind of style that I generated. And let's upload this and digital illustration style fantasy warrior is looking menacely. Menacely? Is that a word? Menacingly. Menacingly. I think that's it. And grinning. The armor shoulder pad glowing fiery red. Strong light from behind. Okay, so let's try this and we're gonna use first, we're gonna have this on, we're gonna generate one, two. So we have three of those in queue. And while we're waiting for that, let's, let's quickly talk about what I like and what I don't like. So first off, I think most of the generations that you get are good. Like you're getting good resemblance of like a real shot. There's not a lot of warping going on that you can see in tools like Runway. Like even if it doesn't always listen to the prompt, it actually gives you a scene that you can use most of the time. So I think that is pretty good. I think that is where it shines compared to Runway, for example, where if you use Runway, you have to throw a lot of the shots away. What I think they could do better is probably the speed of the generations. So you have to wait quite a bit for the generations to finish. But with that said, like, are you saving time 
with the better generations versus getting like 20 generations from runway and throwing 90% of them away? Well, I would probably prefer to get it like this where you have better generations that you have to wait for a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's something to bear in mind. Now this is still in, well, they actually have it over here. It says beta, so it's still in beta. So you only have prompt generation and image to video. So you don't have all the tools that you have in, in Runway, for example, with you have the magic brush, you can select stuff, for example, or you have the very specific sliders where you can control the camera, right? But to me, that feels like something that should be easy to implement for Halo and Minimax. The live, like these generations, the lifelike movements is, is very, very good a lot of the time. And it's something I think actually is better than, than what the others can do right now. I mean, this one could be from a movie, right? I mean, sure, there's a slight jittering going on, but just a lifelike movement. I mean, the blinking that's going on there, she, he's looking around and I'm blinking and looking by the, the jitter in the eye. I, I, this is looking very lifelike. This one too, actually. Very good shots. So the question is like, should you start using Halo? Well, yes, if you need these kinds of shots, I would. And I'm not just saying that because they're giving me uh, free access and sponsoring this. I actually wanted to do this this um, video because I've been looking forward to testing this too. So yes, I have unlimited access and I am fairly happy with this. With the one caveat that it is a little slower to get your, your generations. So let's look at our first one here. Character is kind of talking. It's looking well menacingly. We got some fiery stuff going on with the shoulders. And then it's turning his, its head. Fairly realistic, I would say, for a digital illustration. Maybe the kind of burning thing or the glowing thing around the shoulder the, here is a little quick. If we check the second one here, I think the ember is a little better. His face is, well, not warping, but kind of getting a little not slow motion, but it's kind of laggy in the, in the motion a little bit, which could work if you were going for that style. But if you want it smooth, Maybe that's not it. I would say overall, okay, if you want that style, it could work. And this one's pretty good. You get some wind and the hair here. Overall, for this illustration style, I don't mind the kind of lower frames per second style in the face. It gives this uh, cool aesthetic. So overall, if you have like close-ups like this, it tends to work uh, pretty good. Uh, and, and while I was waiting for that, I did something else actually. I took this image here and I said, camera pans around the dark obelisk. The scene is similar to a horror scene, very misty, and a slight wind reflections in the water on the ground. And we're getting a slight zoom in here. I did have a refinement on, then it's gonna listen less to my prompt and just, well, actually just make a cool scene. There's a little too much going on in the water, I think. Uh, but apart from that, we're getting a good zoom in. The stairs here on the obelisk and the obelisk itself keeps fairly consistent. So yeah, overall, I think it's a great tool. These I'm particularly happy with. I think these turned out amazingly and uh, I don't have a lot of complaints here. I would probably use this for a project. I think they're looking great. Obviously, the style is not super photorealistic. It's a little smooth, kind of a mix anime photo. But apart from that, well, that was what, what I inputted, right? I think the video results here are friggin' amazing. Go check out Halo. There should be a link in the description below. And if you wanna download the results, and I got this one in a 720p resolution. So just a slight upscale from that, and you should be well on your way to 4K. So anyway, thanks for watching. As always, have a good one. See ya.